Uh, he played basketball at uh, Thomas Johnson High School under Jay Jacobs and Tom Dickman. Uh, after he played for TJ, he went on to play for Pitt. And uh, after that, he uh, continued on his career to play semi-pro. Michael uh, played his, uh, through his senior year. I was the assistant at his sophomore year. And then I became the head coach his junior year. So I coached Michael in his junior and senior year in high school. And uh, he was an exceptional player by any measurement possible. He was uh, six foot seven in high school, uh, could do many, many things on a basketball court. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of his ex-teammates talk about now because at that point, uh, there was no such thing as a three-point shot and Mike could make three-point shots even at six foot seven. He had a great high school career. Uh, my first year at Thomas Johnson, we had a team that had really good athletes, really good people. And Mike was one of the younger guys on the team, but uh, they won uh, the first of many state championships at Thomas Johnson. And Mike was probably the keystone of that team. Dedication, hard work, and uh, just sticking with what you want to do. A lot of perseverance. One time, uh, prior to a game in South Hagerstown, Mike was uh, sitting in the stands during the JV game with the rest of his teammates waiting for the JV game to be completed so they could play. And Michael uh, kind of didn't do what was what, required of him as one of the rules that we had on our team. So I uh, suspended him from playing that game. Now, a lot of players would have pouted about it you know, the coaches is this and that. Well, Mike didn't say a word about it. He sat in the stands by himself during the game. After the game, he was in the locker room and cheering all the other guys that, were, that had played in the game. So I think that told me something right there, what kind of person he was. When Michael was a senior in high school, uh, he was a graduate in the class of 1976. He was uh, one of the most sought after college recruits in the country. Uh, by the time his senior year ended, uh, he was evaluated by the number one recruiting service in the country, one of the top five players in the country and the top forward. And he was recruited by, like I say, many t uh, schools, but he uh, narrowed his choices down to the University of Maryland, West Virginia University, and the University of Pittsburgh. And I think the really determining factor, he decided on going to the University of Pittsburgh because his father still lived in Pittsburgh. You know, he went to Pitt, he was a starter as a freshman, averaged double figures for that team, and really had a strong freshman uh, season at, at the University of Pittsburgh. And he played at the University of San Francisco and was a starter for them on the number one team in the country, I believe it was 1979-80s uh, era. And they had a really good team. As I said, they were number one team in the country. And he played there every year. Uh, he went to the, what that time was the Continental Basketball Association, which today would be similar to the what's called the NBA D-League. And he played, played in the Continental Basketball League. Then he went to, uh, uh, he, was, he played in Europe for about three different teams, uh, was over there probably four or five years, and then came back to Frederick. First of all, I, you know, I think it's a great honor for Mike to be inducted into the uh, Hall of Fame. He certainly deserves it. Uh, and I'd like to give a shout out to his other high school coaches that coached Mike in his freshman and sophomore year was Jay Jacobs. And Jay took Michael under his wing, got him through some tough times primarily because he moved from his uh, Pittsburgh home and was in a new area. But I think Jay did a great job of just mentoring him. I think Michael would be really overjoyed uh, with this honor. I don't think he was, I, he was a very humble person. Probably he wouldn't say much about it other than just to have his big grin on his face and uh, probably want to be surrounded by the guys that he uh, probably played with in high school. I mean everything to him. It was just something he was passionate about and something that he would cherish.